Well, now we want to talk about some operators, some relational and logical operators. These are the keys to us getting anything done in the language so that we can compare results that uh, are produced by all those arithmetic operators that we just looked at. So relational and logical operators. We will look at relational, equality operators, logical operators, and then the special one, the unary negation at uh, the end here. Here's an example of the less than relational operator. We have our little program, and we'll use this simple program uh, for all of these operators because it is simple, and it's a pretty basic concept, but I just want you to see how they're used in the program. Here our little program says that x is equal to 1. We uh, define x with our definition, and we do an initialization or an assignment all at once. We put 1 into x. So see, we're doing everything in one line there. Now we say if x is less than 5, just for a piece of work to do, we will print that x is less than 5 in a new line. So that's our relational operator less than. Here's a greater than, same program. If x is greater than 5, x is greater than 5. If, of course, this is not true, the execution would continue on. And in this case, it's going to hit our closing brace of main and quit. And that was the same thing in our in our previous program, of course. So we just have a little one-liner here in the if, if x is greater than 5. We can combine operators. Uh, this one is a greater than or equal to relational operator. If x is greater than or equal to 5, printf x is greater than or equal to 5. Now I threw a little extra in here that we'll see later on, but not in a whole lot of detail. It's just a nice little piece uh, that is uh, good to know about in the preprocessor. This backslant right here, this is a line continuation character. So x is greater than, we can slice that right there and continue the sentence, the quoted string here, on the next line. So the preprocessor will pick this up and it will see that character early on before the compiler ever gets a hold of this. And it will put this uh, whole sentence back together the way it should be. So you want to make sure, since we don't have a space there, that you do leave a space here at the beginning of the line so that the preprocessor gets your spacing right. You want to try to avoid this if you can, but if you do need to uh, wrap a line like we we need to here because we don't have a lot of screen real estate, it's okay to use that backslant and come down here and still get your, your double quotes. Okay, just wanted to throw that one in there for you. So that's our greater than or equal to relational. Here's a less than or equal to relational. The comparison and then the equality, the comparison always comes first. There is no such operator as equal to less than or equal to greater than. You can't switch these two around, just so you know that. It has to be this way uh, with the less than or greater than uh, before the equal sign. So if x is less than or equal to 5, we would do the printout, the printf, uh, as before. Here's an equality operator. Now we're looking for uh, the comparison, are they equal? This is very different. Notice these two. This will drive you nuts some, sometimes if you mess this up. If you accidentally put a single equal sign in here, if x is equal to 1, that will always be true because you are saying, just like you did up here, x equals 1. And the compiler makes the assignment. x is now equal to 1. You then compare the value of x to see if it's true. It is 1. It is true. And this will drop right on into here. Uh, no matter if you said if x single equals 27 or something else here, this printf will still go off because a single equals of an assignment is always true. So be very careful about single equals and double equals when you want to do a comparison or show equality. So here we're saying if x is equivalent to number 1, printf x is equal to 1 and a new line. All right, just be aware of that. Single equals for assignment, double equals for equality or comparison. Very important, uh, very time-consuming if you forget that.